Good morning, guys. I just wanted to remind you that Freedom Factory Drift Night is tomorrow. So if you want to come to the Freedom Factory, see Von Gittin Jr., some other YouTubers, and your boys Cleeter and Jack Stan drifting at the Freedom Factory, come on out. It's tomorrow night, Saturday, June 5th, Freedom Factory Drift Night. We have 50 cars signed up for drifting, all types of different cars. I would suggest buying tickets online at thefoat.com because they may sell out in person before you get there. But there are tickets available still, so thefoat.com. Freedom Factory Drift Night tomorrow. Thanks, guys. We'll freaking see you there. It's going to be a blast. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. Month of Freedom. Well, guys, it's not exactly ideal conditions today. Let's see, we got another racer heading to the track. Started off with some rain, but I think we got some blue skies peeking through and we should be able to run today in Indy. We're at Lucas Oil Raceway today. Ooh, the Elko is dirty. We drove to that gravel lot yesterday, got our wheels all dirty. Looking kind of rough, but you know, it's gotta do what it's gotta do. So we're about to pack down the trailer. Oh, this guy's got a Blackstone. <laughs> we got a... Uh, we got our gear vendor overnighted, so we have a spare. Shout out to Rick from Gear Vendors, dude, hooking it up. But we have that new gear today, too, so we gotta try that out. Kevin's on his way down, so I'm gonna get this thing ready, and we're gonna head over to Lucas Oil Raceway. Good morning. Cubby over here, and it is sopping wet. This suit's gonna weigh 30 pounds, dude. 50 pounds. Oh, frick. Little fat, Kevin. Little fat. You need to step your game up, dude. This is outrageous. This is a really cold. The 12 point. miles to the gallon's not working. We need, we need 30. All right. Thanks, Eric. What do you think it's getting? 12, 13. Yeah. Like. I thought we were gonna get 30. Like. What's going on? <laughs> we do need to actually try a real oh, yeah. fuel yeah. mile, mileage calculation, but yeah. it's interesting they have the same design. Yeah, they're more rich towards the front of the engine. The richest plug is the shortest primary tube, so I'll lean that cylinder out a little bit at cruise. And okay. Maybe it's just got a little too much reversion. All right, you'll have that on them big jobs. Same thing on the other plugs. They all look good, though. So we're putting some fresh ones in it since we're going to run some... Big old boost with the new gear. I think it'll probably make a couple more pounds. Alrighty, we are ready to rock and roll. Oh, I gotta clean the hood still, but the car's cleaned up. We got new spark plugs, we're fueled up, tires checked, we got the radials back on. We gotta put the hot tune up in it and then we're going up. But they got the track dried up, weather's improving. Let's do this. Tom, I gotta see if my camera's working. I gotta zoom right in on your face. Yeah, no, it's guys. not working. <laughs> there it goes. It broke. No, it's good now. So now it's really gonna go swallow. <laughs> Well, hopefully it's more a little, the swa is a little swayer in the middle. <laughs> it's more of a swa <laughs> Yeah. Swa hopefully it's, hopefully it's more aggressive right from the, yeah. right from letting go of the button. So a little bit more engine RPM on the two step, a little bit more boost. Yeah. Might just blow the tires off of it. We don't know. We're going to find out. If it
I started in second or it shifted? All right, turbo five, three, left hand side. side. All yeah, the way so we should switch the shifter over. front wheels, man. Oh, it shook water out? I was wondering because it planted and I was like, that sweet. So water just fell out of the fender. Yeah, there's actually droplets in the tread. Biscuits, how do we fix that? We just need to get under it and like, it's it was probably in that hook right in front of the rear fender, right in front of the rear tires. Oh man. All right guys, so Kevin identified water dripping out in front of the tire. He thinks that was the, the cause of our spinach and you can see there's water there, water right in front of the other tire. So after trying to clean this a little bit, if you look in the hook of this fender, there is like, look at all this. I mean, I can just kick all kinds of crap out. It's all right there, falling in front of the tire. So we gotta clean out the fenders. Streetcar props. Streetcar life. Streetcar problem, dude. Right. Cleaned out the fenders. What'd you end up changing in the tube? More aggressive, uh, right at the leave of the green Oh, brake. really? You're spicing it up. Yeah, I wanted to go faster. All right. I wanted to match that G from the 760 pass. Well then, fair enough. I'm gonna try and avoid all of these puddles. go very good it's fun like three times <laughs> i think we're just smacking it too hard oh i just wanted to get at least a run so now we can just kind of see how the next one goes at least we'll have a decent one you know what i mean because if you don't make two runs then you turn in like a 20 second time both parachutes that's rowdy that's a lot more like stopping force it was a whoosh all right that's probably a nine something though at least we got a number to turn in looks like we might have some weather so we got to turn and burn we need to turn and burn we need pretty to... quick yep it's all right we're good well we're hot lapping now pass number three coming at you gotta get it turned around yeah we're just a little worried about the weather so we're trying to just keep running it and get our our numbers if we don't run like a low eight or a seven it, it could put our average and put us in second or third place so we're trying to like go knock out a high seven or a low eight and that'll be good enough I softened it up so it's not at full boost until two seconds now where before we were at full boost at one second okay so hopefully that just it was, it was spinning on the ramp where it was getting real aggressive but we also put a little water down in front of our tires just for good this measure. should be good <laughs> now we're cleaned up we double check the fenders taken out cool pretty awesome how fast we can turn this thing around
try and pedal it and the fuel sloshes, the car literally freaking falls on its face. Well, I'm thinking to pedal it too in case it does spin again. Yeah. Yeah, you can pedal it and gather it up. We'll get some ice. We'll get some ice. Okay. People in the gas station were judging me for being in full racing gear. Is that what nobody else does this? Just drives right from the lanes to the gas station and back? Yeah, do what you gotta do sometimes, right? Yeah, we got some ice and stuff, so that'll help. Put a little more weight over the tail, hopefully. Yeah, we topped it fully off. 11 gallons. It's a little low. So, it's almost 100 pounds. All right, well, we have made it back to the track. Let's go. That'll work, we need one more of those. That pass, I don't know what it was, but it was fast enough to keep us in first place. So we need, we need one more of them. We don't have a ton of time to turn the car around. We have to be back in the lanes in 20 minutes. Thank you. Yes, 8.01, 180. Might have been that freaking fuel all day. I mean, it was light on the tail. We were probably running 50 pounds light on the tail from the start. That was super, 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 super weak sauce. I know. Uh, you know. I see um, we have an issue here. Yeah, window came out, but hey. We went down, so we got 10 minutes to be back in the lanes. 10? Yeah, they're Shoot. closing the lanes at 3.30. 15 minutes. I'll get the shoot. If we lose this run, we've got a 9.5 and an 8.01 to turn in. But we're not gonna lose this run. We're not gonna lose this one. That's right. Oh, yeah, just needed some fuel in the back. We forgot that John Force had touched the car and it's making all that extra horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We <laughs> didn't put that extra fuel in it to compensate. Let's do this. One more. One more. We gotta turn it into the slip. Kevin turned it up. <laughs> I didn't realize you could turn it up that much. It was spinning. But it was just enough on the tire that I could stay planted. But that was the sketchiest ride I've had in this car so far. And it was far slower than it's gone before. 816. I'll freaking take it. Woohoo! You are a wild man. It was sketch, dude. dude. I heard it start spinning and I'm like, oh shoot. I know. I really shouldn't do that because the risk is not worth the reward. Yeah, that was, that was wild. <laughs> Good job, <Doug. laughs> We got 
front passes to keep us in first, Kev. That's what matters. Kevin, look what someone gave us. <laughs> Dude, that's cool. This train horn it, gun is a gift for Cletus to take your celebrations to the next level. Oh, dude. Is that in the background? When we make a good pass, we just... <laughs> do we don't need a horn anymore? Horn. Should we keep this in the car or what? <laughs> Greatest gift ever. Built way different. Thank you, dude. All righty. This is what we're turning in today. An 8.0 and an 816. So 809 or something like that. So guys, we still have a 786 average after turning these in, which is my goal for the week is to turn in a seven second pass or an average of seven seconds. So uh, we'll keep on going, but we'll be back over to help Kevin finish up in a second. There was a lot of racers who struggled today. Tom Bailey turned in an 860 and a 95 or something like that. So overall, I think we did pretty good. I uh, wish we would've got at least one seven, but you know what? We freaking battled and we made it happen. All right, before we go, I wanna say thank you to the woman who brought us oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. And she also brought us some cheeseburgers for lunch while we were struggling with the car. At like two o'clock, we were like both dying off. She brought us cheeseburgers. So you know who you are, ma'am. Thank you. She was like our track mom for the day. So Life that was saver. nice. Lifesaver, Life yep. But uh, we're gonna uh, take some pictures with some people real quick. And then we will hit the road. We got uh, 280 miles. You know we got 280 miles? Yeah. Kind of I know, we gotta go. We're doing some night driving. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready to get on the road. Yeah. We're gonna be driving into the dark. Yep. Did you lock the trailer? Yes. Well, I did earlier, but you gotta get it. Did you yeah. lock it again? I'm sure I did. Let me go again. We broke down. <laughs> no, it's two inches. See that? Freaking three hours and 51 minutes, 240 miles just to our checkpoint. Really? Ooh. Yes. Oh no, that's different. Is that any better? Loading. Oh no. Is it worse? Four hours and 30 minutes, 287 miles. Oh gosh. Nine, 10. Proceed to the Four hours. Four hours and 30 minutes. Call if you need anything. We'll come back and tell you. <laughs> See you tomorrow.
we just freaking clean clocked 140 miles or so. That was awesome. That was, that was pretty I think awesome. It was rolling hard, dude. We were doing 80, 90. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, 60, 70. <laughs> <laughs> pretty happy, man. Like, gosh. The Elko is more of a street car than it is a race car today. Oh, 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 oh. So we'll see how we uh, make out, but we're going to fuel up, grab some food, and be on our way. I think our performance today has motivated me to make the bar angle change that I've been wanting to been make. Wanting to make, but after <laughs> yeah. that showing, we just so I'm just gonna have to do it. We're going into town tonight, and if as long as we make it in time, we're gonna uh, freaking swap. We're gonna change up the bar angle, which Kevin really doesn't like. He says that the rear is not separating like it should, yeah. and hopefully that'll help a lot. But you also have to remember that today may not have been fully our fault because the track was. Eh, and the fuel fun. tank and we actually I think put down one of the fastest averages of the day guys the El Camino sitting dirty some nice grass at this guy's place Scott rods custom hot rods and fiberglass is where we're at this is our checkpoint but uh Kevin wants to make a bar angle change to the rear end so that it actually goes like that instead of squats like that all right guys man it got dirty under here Show did. that freaking rain will get you so guys basically we're gonna take that from the bottom hole move it to the top hole and that should drive it down versus flat maker aggressive yeah cool all right guys so we got the bar angle changed and kevin nailed it on the first try the ride height came right back to where we wanted it the preload seems up to kevin's spec and frick that was easy probably took us half hour kev not even maybe 20 minutes so that's pretty pretty awesome and now hopefully we're going to be pushing the tire out versus the car squatting which kind of like multiplies the weight of the car against the tire and the track, more traction, science. Sorry, could you repeat that please? <laughs> Can I get a number four? Upgrade that hard shell unit to a uh, Doritos Locos. Whew. Five or six passes, 300 miles, uh, bar change. Mm. Yeah, good thing. Time to edit. Hooray! <laughs> 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 All right, guys, we're calling it tonight. Thanks for watching Do It For Dale. We will freaking see you later. Bye.